So let me show you guys what to do on this one. And it's a very important distinct difference um, that I saw a majority of mistakes that students had last class period when we were doing solving. Tyler, it's really important you guys understand this. On the last example, the purpose was to combine them, right? Yeah. You're trying to combine them, so you had to get like terms. The purpose in this example, you guys can see we have an equation sign. So we want to solve, OK? It's totally different thinking. One, you're just trying to combine them, so you get like denominators. Here, we're trying to solve. Now, you guys know how to solve. You guys prefer to solve without fractions. So what we're going to do now is we're still going to find the LCD. But instead of using the LCD so we can combine them, which is still something you can do, we're going to use the LCD to eliminate the fractions. So what I do is I look at every single fraction and I say, OK, the LCD here is equal to x minus 4. Would everybody agree with that? Yeah. OK, so now what I do is to eliminate fractions is you multiply everything by your LCD. I'm not trying to combine like I did last time. I could do that. I could multiply by x minus 4 and then combine them, but then I still have fractions. I don't want any fractions or rational expressions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my LCD, and to get rid of the fractions, I'm going to multiply everything by that. Now I can apply my division property, and I get rid of my fractions. So what I have here now is x plus x minus 4 equals 4. Okay. Now we can easily solve this. Do you guys see by multiplying by your LCD, now I don't have any fractions. So therefore, 2x minus 4 equals 4. Add 4, add 4. 2x equals 8. Why wouldn't you add the numerator times? Sorry? Why would you multiply the numerator times x minus 4? The numerator times x minus 4. I did. No, the first one. Here? Yeah. Because these divide to 1. Right? They divide out, so you don't have to multiply. Now, I divide by 2, and I get x equals 4. Now, it's important, if you guys remember, when we were adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, it was very, very important for you guys to understand that there was constraints, right? We said x cannot equal certain values. Yes? That's what I'm saying. That's where I don't want you guys to get confused. We're not trying to get common denominators here. What we're trying to do is eliminate the fractions. Okay? So in adding and subtracting, yes, you're getting common denominators. So you're changing the fractions. So you have to multiply by the numerator and denominator. However, when you're solving, we're not trying to get common denominators. We're trying to eliminate them. So what we're trying to do is multiply by what's going to divide out in the denom denominator and numerator. Okay? So now, but I look at this, ladies and gentlemen, I take my answer 4. Can I have an answer for my original problem? No, because x. <laughs> guys, guys, excuse me. It's really getting a little way too loud for me to go over this. x is equal to 4. x cannot equal 4, because if you had 4, that would make that 0. So therefore, this is an example of no solution. <laughs>